On your morning news now, we have an update on the missing teenager from Lafarge. Erica has been located and is safe. The Vernon County Sheriff's Office would like to thank everyone for their help in finding her. Several Cooley Region counties are now eligible for federal aid because of severe drought conditions. 27 Wisconsin counties now have the disaster designation. The main counties eligible include Crawford, Juneau, Monroe, Vernon, and Richland. La Crosse and Jackson counties are also eligible as neighboring counties. They all saw eight or more consecutive weeks of severe drought conditions during growing season. People in those counties have until March 18 of next year to apply for USDA emergency loans. For more information on eligibility, we have a link on our website. People in La Crosse got a taste of the Mediterranean. The St. Elias Orthodox Church hosted its annual Mediterranean Festival. The church has hosted this festival to raise money and share the multiple cultures that the church represents with La Crosse residents since 1976. Attendees enjoyed an afternoon full of food and entertainment. Richard E. Marcos, the co-publicity chairman, has been a part of the church since he was little. He says that even after 49 years, the festival has stayed the same. It has not changed much. Uh, the basics are the same. We've served, served the same uh, sheish tawuk, the chicken dinner, the lamb dinner, and the falafel. Uh, the entertainment has, uh, has had a slight change to it. It was primarily uh, a Lebanese Syrian uh, a form of entertainment, but now it, we, we are more Eastern European now with Bulgarians, Russians, Ukrainians, uh, and uh, Serbians, and, uh, uh, and Americans, for crying out loud. The church is hoping to have a drive through festival in the fall. They are also planning a building expansion project that will help people with disabilities. Sports and trading card lovers had the chance to add their collections over the weekend. Beyond Alaska Omni Center hosted its second card and sports memorabilia show of the year. There were more than 50 tables of vendors selling trading cards, collectibles, and sports memorabilia. The sales and marketing coordinator for the Omni Center says that one of the best parts of the show is the opportunity for vendors and attendees to enjoy their hobby together. Um, I just think it's special because it gives us a chance to um, talk about our favorite pastimes and talk about the memories from years ago and on the sports field, in the court, wherever it might be. It gives everybody a chance to come together and um, kind of trade and talk about these different items and different sports things. The Omni Center will have another sports card memorabilia show in February and we're gonna send it over to Derek for the weather. All right, so let's take a look here. We got uh, mostly sunny skies after that fog clears out of here this morning. We'll be looking at highs into the upper 80s to low 90s this afternoon, and overall a pretty hot day out of that southwest wind to work with as well, around five miles an hour or so. Keep in mind today, we have air quality alerts in effect here for much of the Cooley region starting at seven o'clock this morning and going until noon tomorrow. A check on your eight day forecast showing that highs are gonna be very hot this week into those low to mid 90s. In fact, near the end of the work week, Thursday could be a high of 195 on Friday. Those two days I'm watching closely for some record breaking high temperatures possible. Other than that, a mixed clouds and sun, only very slight chance of rain storms. Probably the best chances on days like Wednesday and Friday, but other than that, just very dry and a hot eight day forecast there. One. <laughs> 100. 100 degrees. Yeah, it's been a while since triple we've seen the triple digits. digits. Mm -hmm. Yep, so we'll have to watch out for some record breaking highs. My best advice stay near the pool if you can, take a dip there, and, um, you know, just, I don't know, stay cool as much as you can out there. Blast that AC, do what oh, you gotta duh. do. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a uh, bit of a doozy here this week. And definitely, definitely not the time to do any outdoor activities. No, this I is don't the think perfect so. excuse to stay home. See a movie too. Go see, see Barbie. A movie. Go Sit see in the cool air conditioning. <laughs> go, go see a double feature. Barbie, Oppenheimer. Stay in the movie theater for about six hours. Six hours. Oppenheimer is three hours long, and Barbie is two hours. Oh so plus gosh. like previews, yeah. you're, wow. you're there for a while. Well, thank you Oof. for watching News Eight now. We'll see you back here later today at noon. Have a wonderful Monday.